Hey guys, CV Super. I got a question saying, I noticed in the end you managed to mask out the white lines. I'd like to know what you used. Um, this was in reference to this motion path video that I did uh, yesterday, actually. Okay, so jumping over to the clip here, I mean, the long and short of it is, basically what I did is, uh, like I said in the video, um, you could make a core mat on the road um, so that it would not, so this line wouldn't show up on the car. Um, and there's a bunch of different ways we could do that. But I mean, to be honest, like, although it might be a little bit more tedious, uh, probably the best way to do this is to actually just paint, use a paint node to paint the black on the white lines. Uh, but we don't want to do that over the, the actual uh, image because if we did that, then, you know, we would lose the white lines in the normal merge. So what I did was, I think in the original video, I had the bitmap being inverted. Let me go ahead and get rid of that and merge. Uh, I had the bitmap being inverted. I just unclicked the, the invert on the bitmap to turn it back to black. And then in this merge node over here, I have imply mask inverted. So I just swap those, which you, you can do. I mean, there's there, you don't lose anything by doing that. Um, and then in this uh, bitmap, so in between this color correction node and this bitmap, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a background, uh, change it all the way down on the alpha so that this is, if you look at it now, it's completely transparent. And then connected to this, I'm just gonna throw a paint node and I'm going to change the color to black. Uh, up in the strokes, I'm actually going to change it from multi uh, up here to single stroke. And then come into brush controls. It's a little bit big. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Let me bring down the size. Maybe to, maybe there. Uh, I'm, I'm going to merge this in real quick. So just throw in a merge node. Maybe bring this in here and then drop the paint into the foreground and this color corrector into the background and pipe it into the bitmap. And now bring the bitmap up here in the left. And I like to throw the merge in the right just so I can kind of see. Now I'm actually going to bring this back. Oh, so before we get started, um, bring your playhead all the way back to zero. And then in the paint node, we're going to have to make sure. So I went to single stroke because usually when you hit single stroke, uh, down here in the stroke controls, all frames is, is kind of like automatically turned on. But if you're in multi-stroke, you can do this in multi-stroke as well. You just know that you're gonna have to turn the stroke duration up past say beyond. So like if you just bring this all the way up, it only goes to frame 30, which means that at frame 30, you're gonna start losing, um, you know, whatever you had painted. It's gonna go ahead and uh, turn off if you will because it only goes 30 frames and then it stops. If you haven't watched my um, my paint uh, video, uh, maybe up here in the right-hand corner, there'll be a, a video just on like how to use the paint node and whatnot. All right, uh, so, but I'm gonna do this in single stroke mode because it's a little bit easier with all frames clicked. It means that it's just gonna stay on for the duration of all frames, which is kind of what we want. Okay, so in this paint node, so if I was to just start painting, you'll see, okay, I painted a black line. That's cool. Command Z, get rid of that. So we're gonna wanna basically paint out this line and I'm gonna take this, merge and I'm going to bring it up here just so I can kind of see what it is that I'm going to be painting. And now it's just a, you know, it's pretty much just a paint exercise. All you have to do is paint out all these white lines and you can get as detailed as you want. I, I mean, and this is also like a good opportunity. If you wanted to, you could throw this back over to white and you could paint like, you know, more of this tree. Now, the nice thing about this is that it's not actually going to paint your, your your image you're only painting the bitmap so you're only painting the mask if you will uh, just remember to go back to black when you're uh, painting the lines and, and and really all you're doing is you're just tailoring you're tailoring your uh, your mat you know to be you know uh, you're, you're throwing in the details which is you know pretty much what you should be doing uh, you'll find that in a lot of my videos I don't do some of these things and I tell you to do them and that's mostly just because I'm lazy. But this is something that we should have done and I mentioned it but I didn't really show how to do it. Okay and, and so you're just going to come through here and you're basically just going to paint the entire road. Uh, I've only painted that much of the road because again like I said I'm lazy. Let me actually just show you that this does in fact work so if we bring this merge up over here you'll notice as the, the car starts to move if we zoom in 
you'll see we fixed the problem of the of the lines you know showing up on the car now if I take this off you'll see now the, the lines are back so I mean that's all we did is we just painted the road which is super simple and now you can kind of do that with the rest of the road and you'll notice that I mean your lines are still there you're not losing the lines because you're just doing it on the mat on the mask uh, so I mean the bitmap is pretty powerful I mean you could even come in here and it's and it's super easy when you're just painting things on you could actually just paint you could fully paint this mask if you really wanted to uh, and and that's you know like if you were doing a real project I mean you would start this um, this color correction node would get you started but then you would come in here and you would uh, physically hand paint the parts that you want off anyways uh, we don't do that because we're lazy but you could do that if you wanted to make it you know a lot more professional and if we were doing an actual like project um, and not just showing how to use some of these tools um, we would definitely come in here and we would do things a little bit differently but I mean we would be using the same we'd be using the same core concepts things would be a little bit more detailed is all uh, but really I mean these are the same concepts that you would use on like you know a major motion picture movie uh, you know just abbreviated obviously and no, I don't work on major motion picture movies, so. <laughs> uh, but that being said, uh, that's pretty much it for me. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'm trying to get to all of the questions I can. And, uh, you know, not all of them are going to get made into videos, but I thought this one was a little bit more complicated just because you're using a paint node, which I have showed in other videos, but, I mean, this is like a more practical use of that paint versus a, an artistic use. Uh, so if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.